is no easy answer to cut down on crime. In Lexington, the city has turned to a homegrown solution to steer young people on the right path. Bodie Brooks tells us how state lawmakers are now looking at one Lexington as a potential model for crime prevention. Bodie. Yeah, Marvin, Andrea, it's hard to capture the full scope of different methods that one Lexington takes to prevent and intervene in conflicts between youth or the tragedies that are happening around them. But uh, the officials that are leading that effort believe they're getting results, and state lawmakers want to hear more. It's different what we are seeing in the streets right now. Raw truths were shared with lawmakers and other officials in a special meeting at the state capitol on the realities behind crime among Kentucky youth. Divine Karama has led one Lexington for the past two years. Firearms that are in possession of juveniles, sometimes I wonder if we're chasing our tail. Like their access. I had a 14-year-old tell me once, Mr. Divine, it's easier for me to get a gun than to get a job. And that it really shocked me. Karama laid out the methods they're using in Lexington to connect with kids in conflict from prevention, intervention, and mediation, and he believes they're showing results. By this time last year, Lexington had 24 homicides. This year, we're at nine. Non-fatal shooting numbers are almost cut in half. He says it's about being consistent. Weekly, we come in and we focus on things that teachers just don't have time to focus on because their mandate is to teach our kids. So we come in and talk about substance use disorder. We come in and talk about mental health and trauma with a trauma-informed care approach. We talk about conflict resolution. The program focuses on the 13 to 29 age group, going beyond just schools and stepping in where they can when conflict rises. Karama says the reality is when violence happens, there's a lot of untreated trauma left behind. A lot of cities only focus on fatal shootings, but we focus on non-fatal, but then we also focus on non-injury shootings because when a house gets shot up and there's a five-year-old laying in a bed sleep that's awoken by gunfire and the bullets this close from their head, it may not make the news because nobody was hit, but that child is suffering from trauma. He told lawmakers mental health access is one of the biggest areas where they can provide some support as they look at the program as a model for future prevention. I've been texting Representative Heron, like, is this going on in Louisville? Like, we need this. Some other issues Krama mentioned the legislature could give some help on were extra taxes that shelters are paying right now, financial help for victims of violence, growing opportunities for youth jobs, as well as that big problem of the number of guns that he sees on the streets. Andrea?